Hello, hello. Say good morning, babies. Good morning. We're here with Cheyenne and Dukes, mini golden doodle babies. And they are going to be five weeks old tomorrow. Yay, yay. Five big weeks old. This is a very chill litter. They are awesome. Yeah. Jess has been working with them, and they're all just so awesome and playful and sweet. Yeah. What do you think? This is our all-girl litter. So everybody you see here is a little girl. They all have the same coats. Fairly similar faces on everybody. Yeah. Just a little, little difference in coloring. That's it. We're doing good, huh? They haven't, they haven't eaten their breakfast yet, so they'll be ready to eat here. Are you hearing the pans? Are you hearing the pans? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to come stay with me in here? Yeah. <gasps> oh, did you hear a toy? Do you hear a toy? Look at the tail. Yeah, the tail tells it all. I tell um, our owners that, um, oh good, somebody hit the potty pack, yay, celebrate that. I tell them um, a, a happy puppy is a puppy that's got their tail up and wagging. A tail down does not necessarily a bad sign. Sometimes they're just investigating and they're checking things out. So a lot of times when people come to um, choose their puppy, it takes a few seconds for those tails to come up in some personalities, not all. <laughs> get the tail wagon. And as soon as that tail starts doing that wagon thing, then we know that they're all settled and they're all happy. Yeah. And all trusting. <laughs> what do you think? Are you going to talk to me? Can anybody talk to me? <gasps> Say something. Like I didn't plan I didn't plan a speech. You caught me. Yeah. I'm not sure what you want. What do you want from me? So we've got our lavender girl, and our lime green girl, and our light pink girl, our purple girl, and our dark pink girl. Dark pink is a red. Everybody else is um, like an apricot. Well, the purples are apricots. And I would say that um, lime green is gonna have apricot tipping with the dark ears. And then light pink is going to be more of a cream with some apricot, apricot tipping. That's um, the coloring that I expect her. That that's going to lighten up. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do good sit? Good job. Good sit. Yes. So um, week five, the main thing we're doing is our temperament testing, which I'll get to you out, out to you on week six. And uh, week six, I'll be sending a lot of emails. Um, along with those different testing results. So that's uh, kind of a, a more of a low-key week this week. Everybody should have received all their paperwork, everything that they need. Should be good on this litter. Yeah. Now you have thoughts. Now you have thoughts. Do you see Daddy who has all the food? Yeah. You just want to crawl up in here? Yeah. Oh, the puppy breath is real. This is the good breath stage for these babies. When they get older, you're like, ew, what did you eat? But now you're like, oh, sweet puppy breath. We're just gonna watch them kind of do their thing. Toys, 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 lots of toys. I have a link to our shop on here, um, lambgoland.com. If you guys want some toys, we have puppy packet toys that we can, um, well, we, everybody gets toys in their puppy packet, but if you want additional toys, um, you can purchase them online. And um, I will also include um, a picture on our weekly update. Um, Costco has some good packets every once in a while. They have one that it just depends on what Costco you're going to, if they're still there. But um, it's a good price for a bunch of 
sturdy, um, long-lasting toys that I think would do really good for these babies. So I'll include that, but toys, toys, toys. Um, the Retriever has a very soft mouth. Um, they retrieve birds and things like that without harming them when they're trained to be bird dogs. And so that sensitivity yeah. of being able to carry something without harming it is one of the reasons you have such sensitive teeth for the retrievers. Um, also, it takes them about two years to fully mature. And so the combination of those things, you want to make sure that you have plenty for them to chew on. They need to alleviate, just like a baby needs to alleviate teething. They need to chew, chew, chew. So, um, you know, if they're chewing on something, they're not being bad, they just need redirection. If they're chewing on something you don't want them to chew on, redirect them to something. Um, I would say that um, the bitter, there's bitter apple, but I have another spray that, um, that I will make a note of in our weekly update that I feel is better. And the reason I know that it's really nasty is because um, in our snowflake litter, um, the, the puppies were chewing on our wood French doors, and which I still haven't fixed yet. But um, I didn't want the puppies to continue chewing that, so I started spraying the bitter on it, and it got became airborne, got in my mouth, and I was like, I was like, ew, ew. It was it was horrible, and I know they don't like it either. So um, that's an alternative if they're like chewing on furniture or something. But never trust them alone in the house until that two year mark, because up until then, even though they're behaving perfectly fine with you in the house, when you leave, um, you know, they're smart and they might get bored. And that's another thing, a bored doodle is uh, often looked at as a bad doodle. They're, bored doodles, they have to have something to do. So lots of toys, there are even interactive toys that are really, really awesome. Um, people are still introducing me to so many of those. So consider that too. Yeah, yeah. Get the block. Get the block. I love these blocks. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> so people have been asking me which one we're picking. I don't know. I promised everybody I would do that um, by the end of week seven so that you guys have a full week before picking to know just who is remaining. Which one of you is making the noise? Which one of you is making the noise? Um, Jess and I kind of agree we wanted a lighter color this time around. We have a lot of red mama dogs and we don't have a lot. Parker, Sanjay, and Charmin are our um, only doodle, light doodles. So, um, we kind of wanted another lighter color, so I think we're going to be choosing light, which automatically knocks out pink because pink is dark pink. Dark pink is a, um, she is definitely a red, so I think we're going to knock her out of it. But, um, I don't know. We first, Jessica was really liking light pink, which I do. The problem is, everybody is, are you, are you whining to Jessica? Yeah. The problem is, is everybody is so awesome. It's just really going to be hard to choose. Big time hard. If any of you have uh, that are on this list have a preference already that you're seeing, let me know, and that might help us out a bit so that we know that we're not taking your favorite one. Um, but, I mean, light pink, um, lime green, dark uh, purple, and lavender. Those are still, I think lavender was kind of, was that my next pick or your next pick? I can't remember, Jess. It was green? Okay. So yeah, it's just difficult, especially when they're all sweet and nice. You know, if somebody was just a tyrant or something, that might make it easy, but you're not doing that. No, because they were all being and happy good babies. Yeah. Got her. Jessa just took lavender. Got you back for pictures. Got you back. Do you hear your mama? Do you hear your mama? It's um, actually nice outside today. Or at least I think it's nice. Some people might still be chilled, but um, we're going to be up to 60 today, which is super. So the mamas can stay out a little longer today. 
Um, that reminds me when we're, you know, when your puppies go home, we might, you might still have a little bit of winter depending on where you are. Um, just keep in mind that these little babies are babies. They cannot regulate their temperature very well. So um, extreme temperatures like cold and hot, um, especially those of us in the Texas here, if you're feeling warm, they're definitely feeling warm. They gotta come in. What do you think? <laughs> All right, guys, I think we'll um, kind of wrap this up. We'll have another video next week. Are you starting to wind out? Nope, you're like, oh, no, 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 I'm up, I'm up again. Um, Size-wise, I definitely feel like dark pink is the smallest. You can just feel a little bit of a weight difference there. Um, up until now, everybody's been pretty um, spot on. You're gonna see weights exactly the same. Um, and then, really, it depends on who's eating a lot. I think that from the head to the trunk, dark pink is a little smaller. And I'm feeling she's got a fat belly. But I think that she's gonna be a little smaller, or at least way a little less just because I can feel a little more lightness to her. Everybody is really good eaters in here. So, um, but everybody else feels really, really similar unless we get someone that has, I would say maybe lavender might be the biggest. Um, she's definitely a good eater and you can just kind of feel her thick, thicker frame. So she might be the largest here of this bunch, but you're not gonna see severe extremes in this litter at all. They're all gonna be about the same. So people who are still trying to debate um, coats are all exactly the same. You can see they're getting longer and um, they're still gonna have this kind of, this is kind of the look they're gonna have right now. As they get older, that's gonna look more of a, a wavy perm. It kind of curls up on you. And the shorter it is, the, the curlier it is when you cut it when they're older. All right guys, let's say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye, we'll see you all later. Yes. You wanna say bye-bye, Pink? Can you say bye-bye? Yeah, lots of paper that's making some noise for us. <laughs> Distracted? You got it, you got it. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.